going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for Ain't Jeb. Well, the music makes me happy. What's wrong with that, Wayne? There's nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh. Of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dang. Dang. Yes. Out with it. Dang. Dang. <laughs> my God. <laughs> it was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice harder. Oh, I will, sir, and I am so sorry. You look familiar. Beeindruckend. Wie bitte? Ich habe die Kerben an deinem Gewehrkolben gesehen. Ein beeindruckendes Ergebnis. Ha. Das sind keine Abschlüsse. Das Gewehr will nicht wegrutschen. Ich habe Probleme mit schwitzigen Händen. Ich bin den Ausschlag an den Füßen. Was sollen wir mit dem Weiter. Mir gefällt's. Kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss. Hey, Mr. Stegon, buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, Mr. Only one right spot. Look at you people, celebrating your own destruction. I'm so happy you Germans brought some culture to this country. Call me that Neitner. Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, just a, a bit more practice, Frau Deinetta. But you will pass the test on change of a day with the highest marks. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music they used to play. Jazz and rock and roll. White girl. Or Shreklich, <laughs> like you would say, right? Yes, good, Fräulein Edna. You know, I see great potential in you. Your attitude is impeccable. <laughs> you flatter me, Captain. My lady is serving our family. Yeah, but I on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hardworking slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye, dear. Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? 
practice your German, dear. You'll need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, my Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa, and that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. <sighs> Wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? <laughs> sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, oh, unfortunately. It, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz, Speshi knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But, Mom, no we have any... Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station 1? There you come, Doc. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> hmm. Now you, show me your identification papers. Please. Oh. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskowitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskowitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come on, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, 
Good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch. We found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah, pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records start surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of them. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. No, okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free from shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz.